everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 10 by 10 inch canvas. I'm going to work with a little bit littler canvas today. And I'm going to be doing a cupping and covering technique that I've been practicing on. And I learned it from Heartfelt Artistry and also Heather Mater does it. So if you ever get a chance, you could check out their two channels. Um, especially Heartfelt uh, Artistry. Lamb is her name, L-A-M. Uh, she is she does wonderful work with this cupping and covering technique. So um, let's go over my paints. I'm using Arteza paints today. The first one is the Bordeaux Red. Next is the Phalo Green. Next is Lemon Yellow. And the last one is ultramarine blue. Just going with the basic colors today. And I have a, a base coat down of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. Now my pouring medium is a little bit different today. It, I made up a 10 ounce batch of six ounces of Floetrol, three ounces of Mod Podge, and then one ounce of GAC 800. And I have about two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And let's see, let me show you consistency. Little bit on the thicker side. This, this pouring medium does tend to make your paints a little bit thicker and that's, that's what you want for this pour. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a cup and then fill it as a dirty cup and I just will put it right in the middle here for now and let's get started with the paints add some white in between also Okay, I think that's about, well, I'll, I'll do a layer of red. And I think that's about all the paint I'm going to need for this little canvas. And I do want to save some of my white because I'm going to be pouring it over the top of this flip cup. So I'll just flip my cup now. And I'll let the paint out. And what I will do is now I'm going to take the balance of my white and I'm going to just pour it over the top of my flip cup uh, paint. And if some shows through, that's fine. It's like you're, it's double coverage here. Okay, and now I'm going to give it a little torch before I start tipping it. Okay, and now we'll just start tipping.
making sure the canvas is all covered here. Okay. Just gonna have a look at it. Almost looks like a winter scene right now. And I think I'll torch it again. When you use this uh, Mod, Pod, Mod Podge and Floetrol mixture, you do get a lot of air bubbles. And so you, you have to keep continually um, trying to bring those air bubbles up with the torch. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is call the cupping part of it. And I think I will start out with my cup that has a little bit of paint left in it. And what I'm gonna do is just let the paint come out, but run the rim around a little bit. run it through the paint and if you run it down to the canvas it should fill back in with paint Just have a little bit of fun with it. What you're doing is you're bringing up those colors underneath through that white. And you can use different size cups. I have my little cup here. So I can use that. You just have to be, make sure that you don't do it so much that you start making your painting muddy. And you can clean your cup off with your paper towel in between the cupping technique here to help it so it won't get muddy. making all kinds of designs in here. And I think I will just do a little bit of tipping here. I still do have quite a bit of paint on here. I'm going to run some off this far corner.
and now I'll bring it and I'm going to run it down this corner here or this edge here okay and I'm going to run it up just a little bit down this corner here Okay. I'm going to tip it back this way to try and get my lines a little straighter up at the top. If possible. But I don't want to lose a lot of that that red dot, that Bordeaux red there. I think that's very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to work with the cup a little more here, just play with it. And I'll use a little bit different size cup this time too. Okay, just a few more tries here to break up some of the colors a little bit. I think it's looking very nice. Okay, turn it this way. I'm going to clean off the bottom a little bit, check my corners. And I may play with this off camera a little bit, see what else I can bring up. Maybe I will try a few little balloon kisses. See what that will do. Very nice. That really adds another layer of interest to this painting also. Very pretty.
Okay, I think I will get you down for a close-up. Tell me what you think. And I did a few more little balloon kisses. And then I ran my skewer um, down some of the little balloon kisses I made to look like a stem. Very beautiful in here. Just love that red, that Bordeaux red. This is the lower left-hand corner. And here's like a flower you can see, and then I just added the stem. And in here, a flower, and then I just added a stem. This is just going up the middle. And this is the upper right hand corner. I think that looks so pretty up there. So pretty and soft with those colors there. And again, there's another flower and I made the stem. You can see the stem here. And then I made a few leaves there with my finger. This is just coming down the right side here. The lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.